What's up guys? So today it's very special. So there is this show that I was planning to create since quite a long time which is called BTS Conversations like some really honest conversations with filmmakers. This is the very first episode that we are shooting and it's with Mr. Arshad Sayyad who's a fashion filmer and also we released a recent short film of his called Chaos. So uh, let's go. Guys, I have with me Arshad, Arshad Bhai with us over here. Thank and you. Uh, before we move on to understanding about the fashion side of the filming, there is one short film that we have on our platform called Chaos. So if you, ha you haven't watched it, please do watch it. So uh, we'll start off with that and we'll just try to quickly understand what went into creating Chaos. I had just started working uh, on my own, so I had just started freelancing. Before that, I was working with GQ, Vogue. Uh, with with GQ and Vogue, there was an agenda. There was like a template that we had to stick to in terms of this is what a fashion content looks like. There was no narrative. There was always like nice music and girls walking around and guys walking around. So we, I was like, you know, let's try and see if we can shoot fashion in a different way, where it's not about the clothes, it's not about the model, it's uh, a narrative. Maybe you must have had a brief, like a story ka flow hoga. Okay, okay, fine, you know, this is... No, it was actually, it was kind of like deconstructed. The whole idea was, I was like, this is what uh, the film is going to say. This is what it's talking about, a girl going through a breakup. And how she realizes that, you know, it's not the end of the world. And the lines are like, you know, something that I've read over the years, something that I've come across. And then just like, uh, uh, breaking it into something that works as a narrative. The other thing which I had was uh, the choice of black and white. Because... Uh, I mean, I personally am not too much of a fan for a black and white film. Mm. Then many people don't even know why they're shooting it in black and white. There's no proper justification. Mm. And that's when I told you, I asked you also yeah. that do you have a color <laughs> version in this? Because if you have a color version, right. I personally felt that it would have added more grace to the film. Absolutely. Because the frames were really beautiful, the mm. frames were really nice. Uh, guys, I'm not a cinematographer, <laughs> by the way. I just feel what I come to know. And I'm sure you guys will also, if you watch the film, you'll realize that the frames are really nice. So, uh, yeah. So, how did that? I never wanted it to be black and white. Uh, the problem was logistically, like we didn't have like the same cameras throughout. So the house bits were all shot on 5D, right. then there's a 60D, uh, then there's a GoPro also somewhere. I, yeah. I don't know if I used it or not, but there was a GoPro also. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mix up. It's a mix up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like the location kept changing, the lighting kept changing. Right. So in the end, it was like a technical call. Whereas, like if it's all black and white, it'll kind of blend yeah. without standing out too much. Because uh, color grading and all again, we didn't have uh, the the logistic to do it. Right. So we were like, let's just make it black and white. Uh, while I was having a look at your profile and the work that you had done, and then when I saw mm. the film. Mm. Uh, it constantly kept uh, ringing in my mind. Was it that you were actually shooting a fashion <laughs> film whereby, you know, kai bar aise hota hai ke kuch bana liya ya shayad jo hum expect kar rahe hain, wo us expectation pe nahi ja raha hai. So maybe we'll use it somewhere else. So maybe we can, you know, tweak it a little bit and we try to squeeze it like a short film. Or is it like, no, genuinely, I wanted to build a shot, <laughs> and that's how I made it. <laughs> no, no. So, so the thing is, like, uh, a lot of models who are also aspiring actors, mm. they want to shoot short films. So, whenever I used to talk to people, uh, like, you know, uh, they used to be like, "Arey, arey, kuch narrative leke." Mm. To maza aega shoot karna. Ni toh aaye, it will become like one music playing. I am in my and mood. I am just doing. Going on. Correct, correct, correct. So they're like, "Arey, kuch naya karte hain." You know, so uh, if there could be a narrative, it would be great. Mm. So that was the whole idea. Also, it adds some some kind of exactly. texture. Exactly. And kind and of then I would want to like watch it for right, the whole time. Right. You know, otherwise it's like a one minute thing where there are just like stylized shots. Does no. doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Plus, it was an experiment for me. I needed to understand if I could tell a story. How different it it might be, you know, from a fashion film <laughs> to directing maybe a. And I'm sure your aspirations don't mm. end up with just being a fashion Correct. filmer. You want to Correct. direct more films. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think is the differentiating factor over here? Uh, I think short films with a narrative is far easier to shoot. It's far, far easier to shoot. Because then you know what you're going to do. You have that plan. You know the what are the dialogues, what are the kind of shots you want. And you know, frames and everything is set. Uh, when we used to do fashion films for editorials and everything, uh, most of the time there was no plan. 
And I was like, okay, this is the concept that we are shooting at. And we used to go grab the footage and then in edit, we used to sit and figure out what to do with it. So uh, a lot of times what I used to do is, I used to find uh, voiceovers. You know, existing poetry is, or just get it recorded from whoever I was shooting with and just trying to make sense of it. Try painting a canvas so that correct, it correct, gels well correct, with the kind of correct, story correct, that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, I think that's primarily the difference between a fashion and a, a short film or an scripted content. There are a lot of things you can just bring in. So like the phone breaking or something, I'm like, so let's just break a phone. And then uh, a lot of times people create those analogies of what is she doing, why is she breaking the phone, right. who is this letter to, right. is she writing to herself, is uh, she addressing herself and trying to like get her out of this situation, what is the phone all about and then you know it's just that people bring in their ideas and then that is how they start relating to it. Mm -hmm. So uh, because you have such an extensive and expansive uh, canvas of your direction in terms of fashion filming. Right. What would you suggest for someone who, who wants to be a fashion filmer? So what do you want to suggest them if someone wants to do something? Uh, don't. Don't? So I'll elaborate. See the thing is I uh, got into it accidentally. For two years I was just editing fashion film just to understand how it works before I started directing it. So I think the idea is to uh, focus on learning the craft and then you apply it anywhere. Here uh, it's more as a brand market, it's a corporate market. So it's all about selling clothes. So what we do is including, again I'll include everything that I've done without being uh, pretentious, it's all about selling clothes. So there's no market as such for a fashion filmmaker. Whatever you'll do is, and, and I've heard it straight from the horse's mouth from like big photographers to big directors who, who do yeah. fashion. They're like, everything art related is for yourself. There is no market for it. You do, you put it out there, people will watch it, they'll dismiss it, it'll be there, but it'll be for you. But I think the, that's part of the, that is a part the, of the, the, the thing, no? because at Correct. the end of the day, it's a fashion film. Correct. And somewhere Correct. you are emphasizing Correct. and focusing on the clothes being yeah, a part yeah, of it. Yeah. So it's or the, anything that can be related exactly, to fashion, exactly, whether it's exactly. clothes, shoes, or yeah. any accessories. Correct. Anything. So I think it's just that we need to create that thing where okay this is what I'm doing for money and this is what I'm doing for my passion of being a filmmaker. Right. So just to create that bifurcation helps. Be a filmmaker and then apply your knowledge anywhere you want. Right. So yeah that's important because when you are with the craft and right. when you are following a particular Correct. craft it's always important to have the entire exactly. uh, geography of exactly. the work that you're doing. Right. And I don't know where but I have heard this from some person. Mm. I don't know whether it was a filmmaker mm. or I read it. Mm. In some book, I don't yeah. know. Bleak thoughts came yeah. just like yeah. in front of yeah. my eyes that you know, uh, for uh, you just need to uh, first start working on the technicality of what you will be doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, in this industry, you are editing. Hai. Mm -hmm. Like maybe as, as a, there are statements that you know you need to understand the process first, mm -hmm. like the back end Correct. process, or maybe Correct. you might call the post production. Yeah. Like for example, a director needs to understand mm -hmm. uh, what exactly is Correct. post production, pre production, Correct. all these planning yeah. needs to be done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then he can probably understand, okay, fine, Correct. this is the shot, and mm -hmm. because there's a visual image already being Correct. planned in Correct. his or her mind, Correct. that you know, okay, this is what I want the Absolutely. film to look like. Absolutely, and so, that's the that's the thing. I mean, that's the only thing. If you understand processes. Mm -hmm. You, a producer will love you because then you're saving his money, you're not wasting time. Right. So, uh, for people who are thinking that editor banna zaruri hai, mein aisa question hai ke because you started off with editing, yeah. abhi, like for example, a person like me might be interested hmm. to make a film, yeah. a fashion film, yeah. but I have no knowledge about edits. Hmm. I don't hmm. come from an editing background Correct. or anything. So, is there type of person who has a scope? 100%. It's uh, by the end of the day, it's visualization. If you can understand a process, you can at least tell someone what you want. Exactly. You know, it's that. That's just that. So, uh, guys, yeah, this was about it. I hope you guys liked it. Or, yeah, I told you We are here to create some really interesting stuff. Good, good content. Please go subscribe on our channel. Personally, bol raho, and uh, support independent films and filmmakers. There are some really good kick-ass short films on our channel, so you must go and watch it. And uh, done. What's up, guys? यार अगर आपने चैनल का नाम तो बताना ही भूल गया, it's Cine Shorts Premiere, so please do go and subscribe. Bye.